Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are subscribers all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location at the moment. From my own end, it is early morning, early Sunday morning. So, good morning to you all and happy Sunday to my listeners, to my viewers and subscribers all over the world. All those ones who love what I'm doing and all those, all those ones who enjoy hearing my voice on daily basis. I brought to you the good tidings and also a brief uh, message at that this uh, very Sunday morning. So please, if you are not subscribed to this channel, I want you to do that as soon as possible. Please do not mind my voice, but mind the message that I'm, I'm, I'm sending out there and the wisdom attached to it because uh, I, uh, has, uh, I have a little attack on my voice. So my voice might not be that clear as uh, you always be. But whichever way, I, I have vowed that... Uh, I must always give my people what they need to hear and what they need you know, on a daily basis. So please, we are moving straight into the business of the day. Tighten your seatbelt and also grab your popcorn and listen attentively as we take the headlines. Gunmen enforcing five days it at home. Order. Reportedly kill actor Ustan Yeme's brother and a policeman. Our Ebo Prozdo plays the present boo boo. Heads to Washington DC for US Africa Leaders Summit. Man declared missing after leaving redemption camp, that is church. Failure of Nigerian judges, lawyers to visit detention facilities nationwide causes impunity among security agencies. That is Femi Falana. So my good people, we are going straight into the business of the day. Please do not off your mic and do not off that uh, your, 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 your radio, whatever you are listening to me with, because I have a very important and uh, a heart-touching message for all my viewers and fans all over the world. So the government that is enforcing it at home in our land have killed the brother of uh, our actor Osta Yeme and also a policeman on the process. So let us look into the news and know exactly what happens. And uh, I think it is high time we, uh, the Biafrans, the Igbo community, uh, rise to stand against this injustice. How can a man on his own comfort, vo comfort zone uh, being bought by Nigerian government declaring it at home in our own Biafran land? It is not so. And, and uh, I wonder how people obey all this kind of thing. And I wonder who give all these hoodlums and all these ungoing men, who give them the order to go about and be disturbing people on their daily businesses over nonsense sit at home that nobody have ever even called for. The person that is organizing this five days sit at home, how much did he give every poor family in the Igbo land? That is the question. And the answer is they have not done anything. Yet, they are enforcing people to sit at home for a good five days with no work, then how are they going to feed? Where hungers are clean many in our land. I wonder how I wonder where our people keep their sense of reasoning. For all these young boys who turn themselves into unknown government, thinking that uh, that is the way they can make ends meet, forgetting that whatever goes around comes around. Whatever you sow is what you are going to reap. You keep by gun, you tie by gun. And those ones who keep by matchet always end up by matchet. So a word is enough for a wise. Popular Nigerian actor Oste Nyeme, aka Popo, has reportedly lost his elder brother, Prince Nyeme, in an attack launched by some unknown government, enforcing the five days at home order in Mbitoli local government area of Imo State. Okute News reports that eyewitnesses told Nation that uh, Mbitolu and its environs came under heavy attack Friday afternoon by unknown gunmen who struck at different locations reportedly killing actor, uh, Popo's brother and a policeman. One of the sources revealed that Prince Yeme was riding in the same vehicle with a commissioner for solid minerals, Martin Eke, Prince Yeme, who is Popo's elder brother, was killed on the spot. The commissioner, who was sworn in two weeks ago, 
was cut badly. He just, he just, uh, he has just been rushed to to a hospital. They were driving on a fourth vehicle. I pray he makes it. According to eyewitnesses, the government also matched the state commissioner for solid minerals, Martin Eke, and attacked the convoy of all Progressive Congress APC candidates from Bitoli Ikeduru, Federal Constituency, Akarachi, and Made. One of the eyewitnesses told Nation that the government rode on Tundra operational vehicles and uh, shot uh, sporadically, sporadically nothing, noting that uh, the armed men met some policemen at 7 Up Junction at uh, Oji and shot one dead. The source said at Oji near Uwere, the state capital, the government were seen in black clothes in three vehicles attacking residents and passers by as they disrupt business activities and drivers and motorists abandon their vehicles to scamper for their lives. He said they just killed a policeman now. They opened fire on them and uh, we are shouting, there is no seat at home. Okay, there is a seat at home. We have asked you to go home. Stay indoors. Another eyewitness he said, I just escaped death by a whiskers now. They stopped before us and shot in the eye and asked us to go home. They didn't shot at us, maybe because I was in the midst of some elderly women. Available reports also disclosed that the armed men kept shouting at the Unquo Oji market in an attempt to flee and they headed towards Okigwe Road. Okute News recalled that the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ibob Namdekano, has denied any association with the five day sit at home order given by one Simon Ekwa who claimed to be his disciple. This is this is this is really unacceptable in our land. Where have our elders? Where are where are all of them? Where are them? Where are those ones who uh, said that uh, they, they are the kingmakers? Or they are the rainmakers in Igbo land, allowing all these things to be happening in our land. The peaceful eastern region have now turned to another different thing. Simply because one, I don't know what to call him, said he's a disciple and a, and a lover of freedom, fighting for justice, or fighting for freedom, uh, fighting for Biafra. Other than destroying our land, all in the name of broadcast. In his own comfort zone in, in Finland, and our people keep obeying, keep listening to nonsense. It's high time. It is high time. People learn a very good lessons. Kano denied his association with Ekma through his lawyer, Ifanya Jofon, saying. He knew nothing about a five-day sit-at-home order given by his self-acclaimed discipline based in Finland, Simon Ekba. A GFO in a statement, Kano unequivocally stated that he has not ordered any sit-at-home. He directs that all our people should go about their normal life and businesses without let or hindrance, so as not to destroy the socio-economic life of our people, which have become the envy of all. Destructive activities of some hired maruders who are presently exploiting the temporal absence of Unyendu to cause un untold mayhem, vandalism and the calamity on our sacred ancestral lands were thoroughly discussed. Unyendu retreated and emphasized his long-held position of distancing himself and his IPOP movement from the illegal and nefarious activities of these God-forsaken elements who mean no well for Nigeria, for Ndibo and Dalibo in general. Okute News understand that IPOP reacted to, that, to the attack through his spokesman, uh, uh, spokesman, Ima Powerful, who asked people to launch anybody in forcing it at home in the southeast. Wahala no the finish. Powerful said, who told them to launch anybody who is trying to enforce it at home or they will or they 
call the number given to them to call uh, given to them to call so esn operators can appear to that place according to a more powerful so that is all people we need to know about our able actor who always make makes us happy who always make sure that each time you watch any of his clips you are going to laugh 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 until you get tired his elder brother please hear me i've been shot and killed at the spot by uh, by a non man who is uh, enforcing people to sit at home by order of from one one vagabond living uh, in a uh, finland calling himself a, a disciple or a humble servant to Mazin Nam Dekano, whereby Mazin Nam Dekano have not have nothing, I mean absolutely nothing to do with this particular person. I weep for the poor. Because the poor ones are the ones suffering all this nonsense. He is over there in his in his own comfort zone, doing his business, collecting revenues from YouTube, collecting revenues from Facebook, collecting revenues from other uh, social media platforms he have a verified accounts. It's why business, restaurant, and other things is moving well, and is enforcing our poor age mothers, uncles, fathers, brothers, and sisters who barely can never feed without not going out on a daily basis to, to scamper for their for their for their daily bread, and you are out there pronouncing a five consecutive sit at home order that have that that, 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 will, that will not have any single contribution to our economy in the southeast other than to destroy it and destroy lives of people living within the axis and you tell me you are fighting for for biafra and you tell me you are for, for us who knows simon egbert should go and warn him this is the first and last warning otherwise that place is living he thinks that nobody can do him anything that the government will catch up with him when the time is right he is trying to destroy the southeast i don't know who paid this guy to be doing all this to our eastern region and people are obeying. You went out now. People will keep on telling you, "Hey, Simon Epa is the is the holy one. He, he is the, the autopilot or whatever." Kiniko, kiniko, kiniko. Why the guy is secretly destroying the peace in our land, calling for there is no election in the in the uh, in the Biafra land that anyone who do this like this should be killed and dead with it. I mean, making all sorts of statements that is that is that is not even good to hear. Both physically and spiritually. Anybody who knows Simon Eber to warn him, this is to desist from causing mayhem in the eastern region. A very peaceful region at that. They have used politics and the rest of them to make it unbearable. I mean, the, uh, the state of unrest in the eastern region now is alarming. May the Almighty Tuko Kiabiyama see us through. He said, Bugari heads to Washington DC for US Africa leaders to meet. Our president Boo Boo, he don't say bye bye. And this thing, this thing now he's heading to now Nigerians are get to hear about this now through Twitter by Femi Adeshana or Garabashew. He can never speak to the country. That is the problem we are having today when we are calling uh, the their 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 presidential candidates to come out from wherever he's hiding, come and talk to Nigerians one on one. He refused. This is part of it. But the Muhammad Buhari will be leaving for the United States Capitol, Washington, D.C. on Sunday, December 11, to attend the United States Africa Leaders Summit. Okute News report that the president would be joining other African leaders for the long, for the week-long event in the U.S. Capitol. The information was contained in a statement signed by the president's senior uh, special assistant to the media and publicity, Madam Garbashew. I said it. Shehu said the high-level meeting which holds between December 13 and 15 is at the instance of the United States uh, President Joe Biden. He quoted the U.S. President as saying he looked forward to working with the African government, uh, civil societies, diaspora communities across the United States and the private sector to continue strengthening our shared vision for the future of the U.S.-African relations. According to him, the event is expected to demonstrate the United States' enduring commitment to Africa and underscore the importance of U.S.-Africa relations and increased cooperation on shared global priorities. The summit further seeks more pragm pragmatic ways to foster new economic engagement, advance uh, peace, uh, security, and uh, good governance 
reinforce com uh, commitment to democracy, human rights, and civil society. Work collaboratively to strengthen regional and global health security. Promote food insecurity. Respond to the climate crisis. Amplify the diaspora ties and promote education and the youth leadership. Nowhere that is mentioned to also settle the disputes between Nigerian governments and also the Biafrans that have been killing many. Nowhere that is mentioned that they are going to tackle the issues rather than they, they, they have been point is those ones who will enable them to do what? To loot money more and more. That is it. That is the purpose of the meeting, if I'm to say. On the first day, President Buhari will speak on the topic conversation, climate adaptations, and, uh, and uh, a just energy transition, dwelling directly on the just energy transition component. He will also address some of the other sub-themes of the summit, as well as participate in the U.S.-Africa Business Forum, hosted by the U.S. Department of Commerce, which focuses on the increased trade and investment between the United States and African nations. On the sidelines of the summit, the Corporate uh, Council of Africa will host the Nigerian delegation to a U.S. Uh, uh, Nigerian Business and Investment Forum business roundtable during which Nigerian organizations and businesses are expected to sign agreements with their American counterparts. In quotes. She also noted that those to go with the president on the trip are governor, governors Bala Mohamed of Bauchi and Aburaham Abdurazak Kwara, some ministers and uh, other top government officials. He also noted that the president is expected to back in the country on Sunday, December 18. That is all you need to know about our president, Muhammad Buhari, the Bubu himself. Uh, the meeting is going or he's jetting out to Washington, D.C. for the African summit with uh, Joe Biden and the other African leaders. Man declared uh, missing after leaving retention camp after uh, from church. He declared missing. Who kidnapped this young boy? I don't know. A man identified as a Van Isaac Obazi has been declared missing by his family after he reportedly left the Redeemed Christian Church of God campaign ground on Thursday. Campground, sorry, on, uh, on Thursday. Obazi's family in a graphic posted online to notify the public of their son's disappearance route. Evans Isaac Obazi is missing. He was last seen in the morning Thursday, December 8th of 2022 at Redemption Camp Gate in a yellow shirt and black trousers. Please, any information regarding his whereabouts will be highly appreciated. Look at the number you are going to call and also kindly retweet. The sister of the missing man, Sarah Obaze, in a chat with Punch, noted that his brother did not return home after visiting RCCG camp on Thursday. The elder, state, the elder stated further uh, that the family has taken steps to reunite with him. She noted that uh, in their effort to know his whereabouts, they have contacted the code of conduct in the church and other security agencies. Sarah, speaking on the effort made to reunite with her missing brother, said, We have made frantic efforts to reunite with him. We reached out to the Moe police station, police division, and the code of conduct of the church in the church and the Federal Road Safety Corps but are yet to get a headway from them. Anywhere who, anybody who knows the whereabouts of this young man or you have seen him anywhere or know where he comes, whatever that happens to him, just report to, every, to the nearest police station or call the number on the screen that you are seeing right now. Failure of Nigerian judges, lawyers to visit detention facilities nationwide causes impunity among security agencies. Femi Falana. Human rights uh, lawyers Femi Falana San has said that uh, the failure of the chief magistrate to conduct monthly visits to police stations and other detention facilities in the country is responsible for the impunity in law enforcement agency and that is absolutely correct. Falana, Falana in a release titled Impunity of Law Enforcement Agencies Called by Lawyers and Judges recalled that he made effort to get the Human Rights Committee of the of the over 128 branches of Nigerian Bar Association 
to mobilize the chief magistrates and accompany them to police stations, but the efforts are proven abortive because it doesn't consign them. None of their family members is there. So why can't they uh, turn their back on this way? Because that is what they, they, they're supposed to be doing from time to time. A lot of guys have been arrested and keep in the police custody for a very long time, which are not taking them to court on a, on a, on a ground that they never uh, comply with the bail uh, options or the money they are asking them to provide. Whereas when you check those guys very well, you find out that they are, they are innocent of whatever uh, allegations have been leveled against them by the police. Nigeria is the only country that you'll be walking on the street and police will go to arrested. When you, when you ask them what is your offense, they will tell you that you look like a criminal. Not that you're a criminal, but you look like one. Uh, that you look like a suspect. That you look like somebody. I mean, they use all kind of devilish languages on you. Like, that is Nigeria for you. Nigeria is the only country that be walking on the street or they find you where you go to drink. They say you go there to smoke Igbo. Whereas, they, they do not find you with anything. If worse comes to worse, they will, they will plant it inside your pocket and tell you, look at what we find on, on, on you. I mean, I don't, I don't know the kind of country we, are, we, are, we, we came from. I don't know the kind of people we find in this, in this society or in this nation called Nigeria. It is sometimes it is heartbreaking and sad that people who are supposed to uh, be the, 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 uh, the uh, role model to our growing kids are the ones spoiling everything. They say they are protecting lives and property, but they are the ones that are destroying lives on daily basis and properties. Imagine a policeman shot a one young boy in Aja, Lagos, the other day, for nothing's sake. And what we have now is that the policeman has been uh, arrested and uh, disarmed. I mean, oh, come on. If you kill, they need to kill you instanter. Nobody, you don't need to wait for anybody. I don't believe on all this, uh, uh, allow the justice to, uh, they, they made it to understand, they said those who kill by gun should die by gun. You don't kill people, children, and they expect to live, and your own children will live. Nobody does that. That is, a, the, the, law, the law of karma is real. So the earlier we understand this, the better for all of us. Tomorrow now, they will free him. That is Nigeria for you. They will free him. Not even free him himself, they will... They will still restore him back to the police and we keep on going about killing people, children, cutting their, their dreams short, making their families, I mean, putting, putting a lot of families in pain. After training your children from, from kindergarten to primary, from primary to, to secondary to high institution, it will just end up just like that, like, a, like, 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 like just common ordinary uh, church rat. The renowned human rights lawyer advised the NBA to stop wasting hundreds of millions of naira to organize wasteful annual bar conference and law uh, week programs after the expense of the liberty of the general, the reality of our people. Falana said lawyers and judges are to blame for the impunity of law enforcement officers in Nigeria. Two laws require uh, mag a chief magistrate to conduct monthly visits to all police stations why judges designated by the CJ of a federal capital territory are to visit all other detention facilities in the country. During the visit, suspects may be released, grand bail or order to be arraigned in appropriate courts. All my efforts to get the Human Rights Committee of over 108 branches of the NBA in the 30 state and, and the federal capital to mobilize CMS and accompany them to the playstations approved abortive. Their family members are not there, so they have already uh, touching their ears. They don't even want to hear that anything you are going to do to help the poor. They don't want to hear it. Other than waiting for the politicians that will come and bribe them, and they will turn the, 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 the right case to wrong one. When the CG of the FSC turned down my request to designated judges to conduct the monthly visit, I sued him. The case has been subject to unending adjournment uh, since it is not a political case. However, I am convinced that the anti-graft agencies and other security agencies will have been forced 
to stop illegal arrest and prim primitive investigations of suspects if lawyers and judges have ensured the implementation of the Section 34 of the ACJA and Section 70 of Police Establishment Act. And that is the gospel truth. You are the only lawyer and the human rights activists who never fear of whatever that will happen because you're always out there to say the truth, the hair, the way it looks, and how, how it sounded in your own mouth. And that is the simple truth. That is what the lawyers, I mean, in their judiciary system, that is what they're supposed to be doing on a monthly basis so that to curb all this uh, illegal arrest and the detention we have in our different policers and stations. And most, most sometimes you find out that some youths will be arrested without no any court trial and you keep them in police cell. I mean, police cell, if, when you hear police cell in Nigeria, my dear, you vomit. Do any police cell in Nigeria that you went there, eh? Kai, even the air you breathe is sickness in our police cells. Very dirty and stinking area. If I have not visited there, I don't pray for it. I don't even pray and wish my enemy to visit uh, any Nigerian cell, any Nigerian police cell. Because it's a very stinking and very dirty environment. Whereby nothing is being provided there. We are going to be uniting in common ordinary floor inside the police net. Chai. People go there heady and when they come out, they have to invite specialists to attend to their health because their health will be made worse. Like just like the way they are before. That is Nigerian saying for you. So I'm, I'm, I'm in support of what Femi Falana is saying here. It's because of there's no any routine check on all the police stations and ask people some questions on why these people have been detained in their facility for so long. That is why they have the right and the impunity to be going about enforcing some law, uh, some laws and then and arresting uh, 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 youths have not have not have not done anything. And when they brought you to the station, you, you don't have the amount of money they required to 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 to, to bail you out. They will keep you there as long as you you you, you can. Or they can. Once you cannot provide the money, you better call to look for money. Otherwise, nothing for you. Even if you are dying in that cell, they don't care. That is Nigeria for you. Every year, we waste hundreds of millions of naira to organize wasteful annual bar conference and law week programs at the expense of the liberty of the generality of our people, according to the sun. Baby Falana. So that is all my people need to hear and need to know concerning what is happening in our country, around the globe, and also in the Biafra land in general. So my good people of Biafra, this is where we are going to stop because I, as I said earlier, it's going to be a brief one. So I have concluded this uh, very early morning, Sunday morning message to all of you. So please, if you are hearing this message for the first time or you are hearing my voice for the first time, Endeavor to comment, like, share, and also subscribe to my channel. Make every of my broadcast let, let it go viral. Not because of your views, but because people out there need to be knowing and hearing the truth from the horse's mouth. I am the only one that can speak to you the the the, the, the undiluted truth that you need to hear about things happening in Biafra land in Nigeria and the world at large. Because my messages is always at point. I don't give messages and I don't. I, I don't, uh, I don't paint words, and I don't uh, 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 formulate like like propagandous uh, message. It is never from a Kute daily talk. So wherever you are hearing my voice at this very point in time, please always remember to subscribe to my channel. Make every of my video let it go viral because there's a lot of people that need to hear and know about it. I'm signing out. See you once again, and have a nice Sunday. Please make sure you pray for your relatives and also pray for your enemies so that they may repent and turn to a new live. May the Almighty Chukwu of Yahweh bless all my listeners worldwide, wherever you are, whatever you are doing at the moment, and replenish your pocket. Where you are getting data to watch me or to listen to my news, you will never lack, and you will always be prosperous in whatever you do for a living. I am signing out. Bye for now.